Winners Talking. It's Winners Talking podcast. Come on. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Take a moment out now before we even get into it. Take a moment, subscribe and, su- and support the thing. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. We're here, it's another one. Pound Sterlocious, Pound Sterling, Big Doug. Mm-hmm. And a special guest with us again today, a very special guest. Uh, one of my friends, a man that I respect. An icon in the scene. A man that's put in a lot of work. Yeah, represents us well. There's a few men like that I turn to at times and I'll, I'll respect their opinions and I'll, I'll like go to them and say, like, what's your thoughts on this? Or I might say, this is a situation. Can you speak to someone? Because like, I know like a like-minded individual, you know? Mm-hmm. And this is one of them. You might have seen him on Sky Sports. You might have seen him on ITV speaking on boxing. You might have seen him um, hosting and educating the masses on certain things and lecturing and such. Mm-hmm. My brother Spencer Fearon in the building with us today. Come on. Good to have you here with me, bro. No, man, a pleasure, man. Bless, man. I appreciate it. Yes, thank man. you very much. For no, it's, no, no, it's, great. it's great to have you here. No, man. <clears throat> on this platform, like, I always say, like, I like to take the opportunity to, like, use it as a timestamp and, like, to celebrate certain people that I look to and people I respect and that Doug respects and so on and so forth. Mm. And I have to let the people know, like, how it come about for Spencer to come on today is because, true to what I say on the pod, I say, like, at times, I'm going to hit up my people then and I'm just going to, just say to them, you might get a message from me. Remember I said, yeah, I said another yeah, week, yeah, yeah. you might just get a message from me out of the blue where I'm just bigging you up and just mm-hmm. hailing you up. And that's what I was doing. Like, I was watching some of the strippiness that's going on, like at the moment with people, um, like all the Noel Clark business and all that. We'll yeah, get to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking like, there's only a few men that I can look at and say that a solid man that I can say I respect and that I know. <laughs> yeah. that I run, uh, ain't abused power. Ain't abusing it and, and running things the right kind of way. So I hit up Spencer and I was just saying to him like, yo, just bigging you up. We ain't spoke for a little while, but mm. bigger. You know, as a man that I look to and respect, and I hope, you know, at one point I'm gonna hope you can come on the pod and we can reason. And Spencer was like, you know what? Now I'm I'm ready. I'm ready right now. Like, <laughs> let's go. go. What are we waiting for? Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. no, there's no, there's no long, long list to this thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. come on. Yeah, you know I mean, Les Brown said to me like, there's no tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. You know what I mean, he said that to me personally. There's no tomorrow, Spence. Mm-hmm. So just go grab this thing. If you got go with it, go grab it. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. A couple of my pals as well. You know what I mean? They'll say to me the same kind of thing, like, your time's valuable. I agree. You know what I mean? So you spend it with, you got to be, you know what I mean? But Pounds just phoned me and said, you know what, Spend? You know, I just got big up, you know, bro. I said, right, that's really cool, man. Yeah. So I see what you're doing with the podcast, you know. I'm feeling the podcast, you know. I see you and Doug. Man don't realise how big Doug is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rude boy. Rude boy, some big gorilla, man. I said, nah. <laughs> if that man ever only in your throat, you're dead, you know. Yeah. I was going to realise that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Let him know, let him know, let him know. If no. Doug, you people get fooled. This all, this table yeah, and, yeah. And, the, and the, and the, and the yeah. drinks and everything else, man, get fooled. Doug is a unit, you know. Mm-hmm. Trust mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. It's a shame I didn't, it's a shame I never bucked you earlier, you know, and I turned you pro, bro. Yeah, Come trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah I but I love that, that. yes. Yeah. Come on, fam, you know love, I mean? man, and respect, man. But yeah, so it's, it's just one of those, everything's just reciprocated. So it's like, kind of on those kind of things. Yeah, man, it's all blessed, man. Yeah, you know I mean, absolutely. And um, yeah, with respect to to my brother there, Spencer, and it being Ramadan and 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 such, mm-hmm. and Spencer's fasting and it's Ramadan. We're not gonna we're not gonna pop on bottle today. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna go uh, with water all the way. Through. Now you know what? No, you no, can no, pop we, your bottles. No, no, we, it's I, not no, 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 I know. You spoke about. I know you yeah, said. Yeah, makes no I know it's no me. issue. And it's you not just gonna go hell for that, not me. There you go. There you go. There you go. Drink away. Drink away. That's why I'm bad. Them too bad. Them are good. You know. God fear respect it. Man, the man are trying to go heaven, you know. it's just a little piece of solidarity yeah, and a little piece of respect, gates. you know, no, 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 so no, no, we just said on this what, occasion, what? on this on occasion. That, yeah. bit of love for that, because I was looking and I was saying, right, where's all the... Nah, we're not doing that Nah, nah, they might be busy with it still, they might have the real, the real, the real H2O. The best of the water them, but we're not doing up the Henny and all of that today, we're going to do it. All right, bless, got me feeling pure right now. Come on. But anyway, we move straight to my, to my doggy, Spencer. Spencer Fearon. Spence, let the people know where you from originally, brother. I'm proper South London, mate. That's right, geez. I'm a mm-hmm. Kennet, I'm a, a boy, but mm-hmm. I grew up, I grew up on the Cali estate. So mm-hmm. what happened? Like in the weekdays, my mom and dad went to work, mm-hmm. and my aunt would look after me. So my aunt raised me. God rest her soul in prayer. She died last year, mm-hmm. right? So okay. I mean, my aunt, my aunt Pinda raised me with her three kids. So her kids were like my brother and sister. It was mm-hmm. one of them kind of things. You know what I mean? Oh, no. So, and everybody thought that. 
that was my mum. It's yeah. mad. So, yeah, and I go home on a weekend. So, originally from from Kennington, mm. which is a predominantly white area, mm. and I leave from Kennington on on Monday morning. I leave from Kennington and I go to my aunt's and I stay from my aunt's from Monday to Friday, and go home on a Friday evening. So I had two cultures. So I had been in Kennington growing up. All my mates were white. All the kids, like mm. from the ages of of like zero to to fifteen, all my mates were white. On the weekends, yeah. on the weekdays, road man from from <laughs> sat from proper deep from. Trust me, Cowley Estate was a serious estate, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Them days it was like. Mache, man's chopping up, man. You seen, oh, you see, you oh, know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, sound yeah. system thing, all yeah. the rest. Of you know what I mean, yeah. so yeah, I'm, 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 you have no idea. I'm grateful to have like I grew up in like proper two cultures. Yeah, and they were only like ten minutes away on a bus. You That's, know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, that gives crazy. you. I can, I can relate to that, and that gives you a balance. That yeah, it does. A balance and a level of understanding. It does. Not and, only uh, that, but Sunday school gives you a proper level of balance as well. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You know what I mean? That, that, that's that's yeah. normal, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. We always say that in here. We always say that in here. Growing up in church. Growing it does. Up in it church does. Is mad. So, so Spence, when did you get into, when did you start boxing? Uh, you know what? I've always been into boxing from about three years old. But like, I was a very kind of timid kind of youth. And my mum, my mum's, my mum's serious, you know? Mm. Like, you mean, God rip my dad's soul in paradise. But my dad was was a quiet, go to work, mm -hmm. wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. make sure his clothes are ironed out. That, that was my dad. My mum, she just didn't play. My mum would fight you. Yeah. My mum was serious. Yeah. So like, I'll be on the, I'm, like, on the estate where I grew up. Like, when like, like certain and white you should get out of hand, mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. Because imagine like, I grew up in a predominantly white area we're in Kennington, so I got racially abused wasn't even a word. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, as growing up as a youth, knowing that five minutes down the road, 10 minutes down the road, I'm in Brixton. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. those said youths who would try to- You can't even fathom that oh, now, you did, know, did, like, did, did, Kennington being predominantly white. It was predominantly yeah. white, it was it predominantly was, white. It was in the 80s, yeah. innit? Yeah, in the 80s, yeah. 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 In the 80s, yeah. Right, 80s. And them times they'd have called you Nick Nog and all of no, this. No, 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 twist it. Go on. 70s. Okay, yeah, yeah I forget. Late that. 70s, yeah, 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 late 70s. Late 70s, late 70s, late 70s, going into 80s. So then it was it was mad. And it wasn't even like when I mean like mad, I mean like it was it was it was nuts to the fact that made me realise like certain people they they they're cowards because they got strength in numbers. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. to you? And when they see like a group of black men, they get frightened. Yeah. So I realised that from young. But then I used to have loads of little white mates as well who I grew up with who were hard defending me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at that time there, in my area, there was like, there was like three other black families. There were three black families on our side. Then across the road from, from where I was, like we had the Kennet and Bingo, on that other side there, that was like black families over there. Mm -hmm. But where I was, there was like three, there was like three black families. So it was me, it was at the Ferran household, the Clotty household, big up my, my bridging country, because he's, he was like, he's my, he's my friend today. Like, we were, we were mates from three years old. He's my closest friend today, up to this day, my closest friend, right? He was like, he was mixed Ghanaian and Sierra Leonean. And there was another you, Leroy Nurse. And that was it. Mm. But growing up there, we just see different, it's just, it's just different kind of plyometrics. But when I'm saying grew up in the church, I grew up in the in in the church in a it was a the Tabernacle Church is still there now. And Dr. Peter Masters, I think he's still alive now. That church was just the the greatest thing. Oh, wait, what what area was that church in? That's in Elephant and Castle. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That was nah bruv, I'm telling you this now. That was the how they treated kids, they gave kids vision. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Like they would, they'd pick you up for for Friday club. 
Then you get Sunday school. Then you can have evening service and they'll drive around and they're, they're, they're buses. That church got money, right? They'll drive around in buses, collect all of the kids from all of these states and they round them up and they bring them and you'll get, you'll get taught you'll get taught about God. Now, as you grow, we, we, we grow into whatever you find, your, you find your identity, right? But at that time, moralistically, what they brought into kids, mm -hmm. second to none. You know what I mean? And this, these were, it was predominantly a white church. Mm -hmm. But that's when I realized like, this racism thing's actually a trap. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because when you have a common denominator with, with people, and in the church it was common denominator with God, but when you have a common denominator with people, then everything else falls by the wayside. Yeah, true. Unfortunately, it's not taken into society, but that's just how it goes. But like how it was for like when 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 I was growing up, growing in that church, like I said, it gave you it gave me vision when I was a young you, <clears throat> and this guy is gonna think like, how do I remember his name? But my, I got nuts memory. Trust me, this guy called. Um, his name was Andrew Sides and he was a producer for Panorama so at this time I'm 12 years old and it was a six weeks holiday and it was me and one of my mates Patrick Burton and he goes right oh, I'm going to take you to this BBC studio because that's where he worked and he took me to BBC studio and he took us all around the studio so I'm going into where they're doing the news I'm meeting Moira Stewart I'm meeting all these I'm 12 <coughs> I said right you know what I want to be them time, I don't know what I was going to go into, but I want to be world middleweight champion. But after that, I want to work in TV. Because just as a youth, to see that, I'm calling for council estate, bro. To see that, I said, no, nah, I want to work in TV, bro. I, I'm busy. It blew I my mind work. away. Kind yeah, of yeah, it did. It, yeah. Blew, it, blew, it blew my mind away. Yeah. And then, like, started off at boxing in the Brixton and District, then from the Brixton and District Club. I'm, like, 11, 12 them times there. Then went down to the Lynn, and then we boxed box down at, at those clubs and I was I was grateful enough I picked up a couple of titles as, a, as an amateur and who, took, who took you down there to your first step in a boxing gym your first I took, experience I took myself you took I, had to, I, had to take, I had to lie to my parents because my mm -hmm. you know old West Indian parents no the mug mush up him head like mm -hmm. clear mm -hmm. your car you're going you know what I mean that's what you're hearing yeah, you're yeah. mush up like Ali no 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 you can't do boxing that's what yeah. I was getting Lin had been going strong. That's the one in Burgess, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Lin, Lin, Lin was going. Lin, Lin, Lin was strong, yeah. strong. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and there was enough man down there. There was enough guys down at Lin who, <coughs> who, who like helped or pushed man through in that. So you know what I mean? So yeah, man. Them days, them them were the days. And then what? Turned pro in '97, and only boxed pro for six years, and then I and then I retired. And I was saying, now nah, you're too young to retire. Da, da, da. I said, no, nah, I don't want to be punchy, bro. I'm just gonna be real. Do you, do you think boxing was really your calling, or do you think boxing was just a uh, conduit to be doing what you're doing now? Like, was mm, it just no, a no, no. boxing? Boxing was the calling. It was the calling. It was the calling. <laughs> it was the calling. But this one, I'm trying to say to you, it was a calling. For me, if it was, if we had gym championships, I would be the undisputed world. Gym champion, but I could. I know man like that. Yeah, I could bat like up. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, I could inspire. I'll yeah. batter anybody. Ask Tundi. Ask all them, man. They'll say, nah, yeah. spit. Nobody could handle me. This is the truth. Mm. But on the rules, when I think down and think about it now, I realize that Spence, she was actually just a gym fighter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not only that, it's like the more knowledge you become on a certain thing, is the more is the more civilized you become, mm -hmm. and the less risk that you want to take. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about it. To take these risks, you got to think about it. An average punch is coming at you like just under 40 miles an hour. The risk for you to stand inside of a ring and a man's got eight hours gloves on, a man's trained six weeks for you, the, the risk, it's a serious kind of thing, you know? Yeah. But what I also realise is this, and this and no disrespect to, to any fighters out there, but guys who box know that I'm talking the truth. <laughs> If you're on road, which enough money has been, if you're on road, when you're on road, you can get a claim. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. You don't really need boxing to get the acclaim. When you're getting the girls, which when I was a youth, I was a terrorist. I swear down. I'm not proud of it now. I'm a big man. I've got beautiful, I've got four beautiful children, and beautiful missus. But when you're you and you you can get all of these kind of things, like I was that I was that go-to person. Anybody need anything, 
Bro, phone spends. You can get it for you. Anything. So that can kind of take away your desire. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Other people who haven't got that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They aspire to think, yeah, I want to get, oh, I want to have a big whip. I always mm -hmm. had big whips. So they're training harder. Fully. They're, they're, they're so their mind, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you get what I'm trying to say? Their mindset's different. When you when you can already get certain things or everything's just at yeah, yeah, the phone yeah. phone call for you, the desire to say you want to go get certain things can kind of go. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. and you're already doing it, you're getting it. Do you get yeah. what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah. yeah, right. Or you're going to dance, and the DJ then big you up on the mic and rah, 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 and all the rest of it. Yeah, like when you're you going through, that's a big thing. Or you could go buy a couple bottles of champagne and yeah, rah, rah, rah. of course. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. So it's got to be something that's 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 far more intrinsic to who you are as a human being to say that you you're you're, you're going for these kind of things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up poor. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up. I didn't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Those kind. Of, I was spoiled as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So those kind of things can 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 take away your desire. So what I'm doing now in boxing. If I didn't box, I don't think it would carry as much weight. You, it wouldn't. That's why I was asking yeah. you if you yeah. think it's maybe a vehicle because you went from you went from boxing and then did you go into promoting and management yeah, from then? Pro yeah. Yes. Yeah, when straight, I yeah. when I retired, it was a few years after my retirement. Mm. Then I went into I went into management and promotion mm. and training fighters because when I'm sitting down, seeing there's like even now, <clears throat> and this is something that I could go back into. I wanted to go back into I wanted to go into our training fighters, but it's a headache though. You know, you 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 work with MMA, same same roles. They're like, guys are nuts. You got to deal with them. You got, you know I mean, and you're not just their trainer. You're their psychologist. Psychologist, everything. You know what I mean? Your friend, your dad. Yeah, your dad. Mm. You know what I mean? You're a dietitian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. So exactly. So you, there's a lot of things that go with it, right? Yeah. But I can't, I can't knock that. I'm, you know what I mean, I can't knock that. I'm so grateful. Like when I went and did my sitting. Um, I got managers, trainers, and promoters license all in one sitting. And when I got that, I was like, rah. Because I retired from boxing in 2003. You know what I mean? After, uh, what was it? I fought Dave Walker. Everyone talks about that fight. It was a wicked fight. And then I had one more fight after that. Gilbert Eastman lost that. Me and Gilbert's proper mates lost that fight. I said, I'm done with this. And I remember being, it was... Um, it was October 30th, and we was leaving Alexandra Palace. It's me and Tundi, because I brought Tundi. I said, Tundi, come. Because me and Tundi are like licking pads. I said, Tundi, you're going to train me, you know? I'm going to go get your license. Tundi said, you're mad. I'm not really. I said, go get your license. He said, you know more than most of these, man. Eh? Don't worry. We'll just go do this together. That's our role. Come. Mm -hmm. You remember, Richard? Come, let's try it. And I remember losing that fight. And I was with my missus. I was with my missus at the time. You know what I mean? And my stepson, Ramel, who's a big man now, he's 30 now. I'm like, what the hell? And he and I, he said, I don't like this no more. You know what I mean? Because mm. I was his stepdad at the time. Mm. He was like, I don't like this no more, you know? I said, don't worry, I ain't inviting again, you know? And that was it. And I remember, like, my mom, my mom phoning me. I'm at home, my mom phoning me. I'm like, what happened, son? What happened? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, nah, I lost mom. She said, oh, Spencer, just give it up, son. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Jesus, yeah. just give it up. <laughs> and, like, yeah. and then she's following it. When I retired, she's following it. And me make him stop it. I'm not even there. I said, just, just give it up, just, son. Just give it yeah. up. So, like, yeah. So, we use things as vehicles. Everything's got to That's be a what vehicle. I'm saying. Go take it's it a vehicle to the next, to the next thing. Got to, take, got to take it to the next thing. Yeah. Like I'm saying, I was just grateful that I was in an epic fight that everyone still talks about. I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Did I live to my full potential? No, I'm living my full potential right you're now. Living your, you're yeah. living it. That's yeah. what I'm saying to you. You're living I'm the full living potential I'm now. Man, I've got to realize that I'm living. Be, I'm living it right live, now. You're li living. Be, listen, that's why I asked. Even though I know you say that, that like boxing was the calling, it's, maybe it was just. It, a, it was. It, it was. was just, I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say, on. two pounds. Yeah, it was the calling, meaning that. To still be involved in it, yes. Because yes, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boxing yeah, overall, yeah, 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 I'm with boxing you. Yeah. I'm with you. Because yeah. and, and it's no disrespect, you know what? When guys retire from boxing, that's why enough men in the game can't stand me, right? And I'm just you have retired from the game. Because you know what happens is this: when you when you most men retire from boxing, you got to think about it. Will they become? They, and this is no disrespect to doorman. You become a doorman. You become a laborer. You become mm. because you know because right. men are trying to say that you mm. you have, you wasn't there, you wasn't up there ac academically, but mm. which is nonsense because. They they maybe not they are smart fighters in general are very very smart but 
to the academics, they weren't into that. They was thinking about, right, I'm looking to knock out a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they don't really set themselves up. Exactly. For right. E- exactly. Exactly. Right? So, me stopping or retiring from boxing, this is just part of the journey for the continuation because when I mean like, I would, st- I have studied so much, it's ridiculous how much boxing I watched. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous how many books that I've read on boxing. It's ridiculous how many, and then after that, I realised like, rah, People tell them, right, you're actually a walking encyclopedia, Spence. Yeah. I didn't know. At the time, I didn't know, you know. Yeah. It, seriously, it was my ex-missus that was the one that said, Spence, yeah. I hear you talking, I hear the passion that you got about this game when you're talking about this game. And you just grow from there, man. And that's what is that's what makes you such so great as a pundit. So when you came into the punditry, I know Sky is you were at Sky for a length of time, but were you at you, you were Satanta first? I was at Satanta first. That's what I first. Yeah, Some yeah. people might not even know about Satanta because yeah, they weren't right. around for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a, well, it was, that was a big well, thing. It was a big thing when they first came out. When they come out, Satanta sold it onto BT, in it, or was it before that? No, it was before that. Was it before, it was before they sold that. it? Because they went. I, they I went, remember Satanta. Yeah, 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 they went. That was Frank Warren project. Well, Frank Warren was a boxing promoter on there. Right, there you go. Frank Warren was a boxing promoter. Yeah, go on. And then who else got the deal with Satanta? I think. David Hay got a deal with them as well. Mm-hmm. And then, so if we're going back like 2007. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that when it was? Right, 2000, you go 2007. They came in heavy as well. I remember, hearing, I remember seeing many things on yeah. it, but I remember hearing about it. Yeah. Yeah. I was out there, but I remember hearing yeah. Satanta this. Satanta so was, was buying up all the boxing. Satanta mm-hmm. so was just killing it. When I mean killing it, they were just on top mm. of everything. Mm. There's a brother called Karen Baines, who he's like, he was working on, see, like, Free thinker, he was saying like like websites and everything. That's the way forward, and online programming. That's the way forward. And like, um, do you want to come in and do some bits with us, guys? Search man, I'm like it's mad. Cause me, like, just a cool little Irish dude, wicked guy. He's like, yeah, do you want to come and do this thing? Like, it'd be great for you to come and do it. I was like, alright, cool. And then we was going everywhere. I remember we went to the Bernard Hopkins Kawasaki fight. Come on. And like, so we worked out there on that. I remember doing the interviews with Kawasaki. That was like, and they showed it on TV. That was the first big bus. Mm-hmm. Like, rah, that on TV, bruv. Mm-hmm. It was like, yeah, it was big, yeah. And big fight. And I remember from then, I remember all of the hood was like, rah, Spencer's on Satanic, you know? Yeah. And they're all like, I'm not trying to speak no Earls and Graces. Like yeah. I said, yes, and this is such a fantastic, no, no, no. no. Nah. I, can't, I can't do that, I can't do that. I'd, I'd be lying. You know what I mean? But try to test me on this thing historically, I'll destroy anybody. And I know yeah. this. And, and, and the thing about it is, is the people who think they don't know, they know that I know as well. I'll destroy them. Yeah. So when I did that, was at Satanta, then Satanta went bust. And then the same dude, Kerry, was saying, oh man, you got promoters like suspense. Come, let's start putting on shows. And then we started the hard knocks thing, and the hard knocks thing just blew. What I mean, mm-hmm. I, I didn't even know it was gonna be it blew, and then we got some mad investment money, ain't gonna lie. You're mad investment money. You know what I mean? It was like um there was a there was a company that was was buying image rights. So if I got a fighter, they'd buy their image rights to that fighter. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're buying the image rights and also trying to buy that that fighter's intellectual property. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to use them, I'm offering them like twenty grand thing. Like you in our minds, we're not thinking about intellectual property because I'm dead saying, yeah, uh, sign it, sign it. What's the, in, cool. what's the inter, what's it called? Intellectual, intellectual property. Yeah. 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 And for those that don't know, like myself. Right, so, so, <laughs> inter, like, <laughs> right. right, so, inter, inter, in, like, Dougie, all it is is this, is like, your, who you are, is a, in, that's you, your, mm-hmm. your, your intellect. Mm-hmm. So they'll own your rights to you for like five years or six yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Right, so it was a, it was a, it was a, <clears throat> it was a company called, <clears throat> Shamrock Solutions that put this whole thing together and they were selling it to, to other business people mm-hmm. and they would put money in and the money that they, they were put in, <clears throat> they would use it for tax breaks. Mm-hmm. And then there was a big scream up on it. And, but people don't, when I mean a big, it was a massive scream up on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, it was like they had some secret guys recording guys and <laughs> right, people were breaking down the thing. So there's, so they were trying to say, well, you're trying to beat the system, which they were doing. Yeah. And there was loads of money f- thrown into it. And like I'm saying, I'm grateful that the money that was thrown in, that that we got a chunk and we helped out a couple of fighters and, and for the grace of God, we, I mean, we had a 
we had a world title challenger. Uh, we had a U. Darren Hammond only won the British title. You know what I mean, I had two prize fighter winners. So it was just rocking. So my name was everywhere, bro. Yeah. And then we came to flip the page. Now we got to 2012, the Olympics. Mm-hmm. What happened was, my cousin from Jamaica phoned me, and she goes, she goes to me, oh Spence. Like, send me some money because the kids have got to go to school and rare, 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 rare. And I was like, all right, cool, no problem. I'll, I'll sort this out. So I've gone to go on my wallet. And at the time, I missed the time she went away to Norway and she had my wallet on her. So I never had no money. But I got a bag of suits. So I'm going through my suits now, roughing up. I raised, raised, raised about £120. <laughs> and I went to the Western Union and I sent the money to her. And when I was walking back, as I was walking back, I get a phone call from BBC. And it was like, oh, um, we got the Olympic final and would you like to come in and, and, and do punditry for us? So I was like, okay. They said, yeah, we spoke to Matt Christie. This is how God blesses people. Matt Christie now is the head editor of the Boxing News. Uh-huh. Then he was assistant editor. Now he's the head guy down there. Mm-hmm. So they phoned Matt Christie and said, oh, we're looking for someone to come in because at the time it should have been Frank Maloney, mm-hmm. who's now Kelly Maloney. Yeah. But he was going through some transitional period in his yeah. life. So he said, I can't do it. So they they, so they phoned me and I was like, rah, it was a Sunday, it was a Sunday afternoon. I'll never forget. Sunday afternoon. I said, would you like to come in? And I said, when's it for? I said, it's today. I said, how much you paying? I had no money on me. And then <laughs> then then we had the bank holiday as well. So I'd have been broke for for the client. No money on me. No, whatsoever. no, no, there, nothing. No, no money on me. I got my cards. Yeah, <laughs> right? So and banks don't open. Yeah. So I said, how much are you paying? They said, they pay, oh, we'll pay you a thousand pounds to come. I said, thousand pounds. I said, listen, if you can give me 600 pounds cash, I'll come. Because you're going to give me that check. I've mm. got to put that in the bank. I ain't going to get the money. Mm. It's no problem. They said, no problem. We'll give you, we, we'll, we'll try and sort that out. They come at the phone like, yep, yeah, hey, we've got 600 pounds for you. So I'm like, rah. So I'm phoning everyone. Listen, BBC, right? John John Nevin, Luke yeah. Campbell, you know what I mean? Tune in. Da, 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 da. They said, they said, no, nah, it's not just for the TV, it's also for our worldwide link. Mm-hmm. That's going out to 250 million viewers. I said, what? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Should have asked for more money. Yeah, I should have bought your money. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I said, I said, bro, I said, I'm busy. I said, bro. Yeah, good. I said, bro, I was saying, what? Six. Yeah, yeah. I said, bro, you know what I mean? Boom, I went there and I remember when I was phoning, I was on the phone to Tony. He said, Tony, you know what? I'm going to BBC. He said, Yes, mm. bruv, yes. I said, Tony, I'm going to BBC now, um, to the studio. Bruv, I thought this was going to be some big, bossy studio. Bruv, what they've done for the, in the Olympics, the council estates around, they'll take certain of the top floors and convert them yeah. into studios. Yeah. So I had to go to council estate, then you bring you up, and then, like, yeah. they, it was mad how they done it, right? So, boom, I'm in the studio and, like, Bro, when I mean I went in, I mean I went in. I was talking about things that I didn't even have to talk about. I just went in. That's showing like right, you, you have to show yeah, them yeah, the levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta know. You gotta know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. You're right. never, you're <laughs> you're never gonna forget. You're, I'm yeah. gonna take this now. This yeah, yeah. Is my, this is my yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Take, seize yeah. the moment. Seize the right? day. Grab this thing with two hands. One hundred percent. As I left there, as I left there, on the Tuesday, I get a phone call from one of my guys who's who's now. Who's that guy? But he's not there no more. He said, Spence, who's was a producer guy called Charles Lawrence. He said, listen, we're doing this pilot show called Ringside Toe to Toe. And um, would you want to come in and do it with Ed Robinson? You know what I mean? And I'm thinking, yeah. So in my head, I'm thinking, yes, this guy. Go get some big money. Go get some big money. Go get some big money. Bruv. Bro, you know how much they paid me? Go on. Travel expenses, 50 pounds. No man, way. Right? Big old sky. Big old sky. Now check this one out. Check that this one sky out. Sky dealing with man. Right, yeah, no, Champions League them times yeah, as well. Uh, exactly. Proper, Just, proper. He, no, now check this one out. Go on, you go see on. Johnny Nelson, I have to big up Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson gets a lot of hate from, from certain black people and all the rest of it. I'm saying Johnny, Johnny's real. He just knows how to play the game. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? He doesn't play the game. You know what I mean? Sometimes he plays a bit too real, but I can't. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I can't coon it to coin it, but Johnny's my guy. I'm not knocking Johnny. He's my guy. <laughs> right? So this is the response then. Johnny said to me, Spence, he pulled me to one side. When I was there, he said, bruv, you're in, you know, he's fighting me, you get in. Mm. But the thing is, Spence, you know you're too real for these men in there, you know? Mm. I said, don't worry about that. He said, you're in, he's me. He's like, yeah. He goes, don't worry about the money right now. He said, that's just, that's just a trick that they please see if like, you're going to tough it out. Mm-hmm. 
I said, bruv, for me to be on Sky and I know the youths from my ends are going to be seeing that, thinking like, right, I could go do this. Yeah, that's enough. Right, that's enough. I said, don't matter if I'm here for, for 10 years or 10 minutes, watch. And I was there and then they were seeing the numbers start going up, going up, going up, going up. I said, rah. It weren't even about three months and it offered me a real contract. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the test, that's how it goes. And we know that this is a test. How did you find your time there? Well, it's different. You know what I mean? Me being 100 is different. It's very, it's very, it's, it's very different on certain things that I complained about then. Mm-hmm. It's coming to fruition now. I was the one that was on there, hard complaining about the lack of diversity. I was going to say. Right? You, yeah, carry on. Carry on. No, go on. Do you think with all the things that have moved now with Black Lives Matter causing people to have to, um, now everyone's pushing diversity now. You can see like every show, black man's got to be there, this has got to be there. Yeah. Do you think if you had been there, um, if you had been there after all of this had gone on, they would have pushed you more and been more supportive of what you were doing? Because now they have to have a black man there. No, they have to no, have a black man there. But the thing about it is this is like, if they, they more than likely, yeah, I would reckon so, right? But, the thing about it is this, it's like the youths who they got in there now, the youths who they got in now in mm. Sky, or the black brothers who are in there now, mm. all of them man contact me regularly. Like, you know what, Spence, is you why we're here. Of course. You know what I mean? You're so, the original. Right, right. Is you, is you why we're here. So be, because of that, respect, yeah? Because because of that, mm. that that's enough, isn't it? Of course. You know, that's, that, you know what I mean? That's enough. It's, it's, that's that's enough. It's, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. that's the kind of thing that yeah. I get with, with man then with music and things yeah. like that. So mm-hmm. I can I can yeah, fully yeah, relate to what, to what you're right, saying. Right, right. Because from when they when they use they know like right, yeah, you know what? When man the nicest thing is this is like when I said what I said at the time when I said it, brazenly, you know what I mean? I said this and guy was saying, Oh well Spencer, you you, you know what I mean you, you can't you can't say that. What did you say? The, 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 I said, first I bought a fire on Eddie Hunt. I said, Eddie. Let me say to Eddie. Go no, on. I said, Eddie, your two biggest commodities of fighters who you're earning your money from are black fighters, and Dylan White and Andy Joshua, remember, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So don't you think that it'd be nice to see like it being replicated by your company, right? Then man, oh, you can't say that, Spence. Da, da, da. See, I was, I, was, I, was, I was about a year too early before the George Floyd thing. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But now I can sit down and like, yeah, you little bitches. Because I told you a lot, but you weren't listening to me. Mm-hmm. You, now you're forced to listen That's to what I was saying. Mm-hmm. You're forced to, you're forced to, oh, oh. And the, the same ones they was complaining, I said, oh, you know what, that Spence was right, you know? I know for a fact, because they're following me. Oh, you were right, but um, uh, now, now mm-hmm. like, so it is, it is what it is. So I, I, I'd say that, I said that, but also I question the whole thing. I question the whole thing about like the lack of people in senior positions, especially in, in, in TV. Mm. I said, that's, that's nonsense. And then newspapers picked up on it. So when the newspapers, like, oh, right. Like, oh, there he goes. Oh, Spencer's just a racist. Oh, he just, have you noticed like. That they tried to come at you. I, I get that all the time. Yeah. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother mm. me one bit. Cause let me tell you this. Right. Of course, I'm gonna see him as a racist if you're blinkered to seeing life as one way. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Of course I am. But I'm waiting to hear one racist comment. I'm just a person that will say like, I will just say how it is. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because let me tell you this now. Nobody don't fight down no one when you want to talk about gay pride. Mm-hmm. Nobody doesn't jump on that. Mm-hmm. Nobody has a problem with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody has a problem when a Jewish man wants to talk about the Holocaust yeah. and say like, you know what I mean? And 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 speaks hard about. Um, um, Judaism. Nobody doesn't say no one will touch that. Mm. Let a black man turn around and say, I'm just proud to be black. Oh my goodness gracious, man, you tell a man to suck his mother. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, it's real. So, yeah, it's so, real. man can't talk about right, slavery. You can't, you man, get right, over it. Right, yeah. you, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You must get over it. You must get over slavery. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. You what's, mean? What's, so, go on, go on. I'm not, I'm not, so on those kind of things, these things touch my heart. They touch my heart because, like I said, this integration thing is a great thing, you know. 
But where, how are we going to be integrated? Are we going to in, are we going to be integrated where you can feel my pain, you can feel my burden? Mm. Are we going to be integrated like that? Mm. Are we going to integrate just to be like socially we're integrated and then all right then you're going to f off and go to your house and you're going to go to no 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 yeah. no we are created to know one another number one yeah. right and I keep on saying this like there's only one race and that's the human race and I live by that. that's right you know what I mean I live by that mm. because. My children understand that they are they are they are black. My children understand that, mm -hmm. but my children understand that within their blackness is greatness. Yes. Right. Now, we're not being. When I was growing up, we weren't taught that. You know what I mean? So it's easy to kill a people if we erase a history. Mm -hmm. So our history has been erased. So when I'm talking to my son who's nine and we're speaking about it and we're me and my son chop up stuff, you know, we my son's a very intelligent kid. Then you know, he gets that from his mom, right? And when we're when we're chopping up when we're chopping up things, me and my boy, we're chopping up things and like and I'm and I'm telling him of the greatness of you know what I mean? And like Marcus Garvey said, if you understood your greatness where you come from, you'd be less inclined to disrespect yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying like I can't disrespect myself and let my son see that I'm disrespecting myself and like me cooning and clowning and yeah. buffooning and no, no, you know what I mean? That. Just to get an easy run. No, 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 or like to be inoffensive so people could feel safe. Yeah, or yeah, certain yeah, people yeah. don't understand our culture can feel safe. No, no, it's not about that. You, 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 what? No, bro, yeah. no. What's and your it, relationship like now with, I don't know any of the people then from Sky, because obviously you're still involved in boxing. So what's your relationship now? Like well, it's different Eddie now. Or, no, I'm not, me, Johnny, Eddie, me, Eddie, yeah. Eddie, 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 you know what I mean? And like, you see enough times you'll sing my praises and all the rest of it, but Eddie, 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 he's a businessman. I can't sure. knock Eddie Hearn for, for what he's doing for all the rest of it. Mm. But, me and him, when we conversate, we conversated about two months ago. Like he phoned me up and me and he was, no, listen, that, about a month ago, me and he was talking and we was talking about that Annie Joshua thing because how people switched on Annie Joshua when he was at a Black Lives Matter rally, right, they, they switched on him quick when all he did was, all he did was read out a piece of paper on questions. He weren't, he weren't, you know what I mean? He weren't condoning or, or, mm. or he wasn't condoning or he wasn't supporting. He was just reading from a script. But all them white brothers watched that and was like, fucking cheeky cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? I'll pay $24.99 to watch you yeah, on the yeah, TV. Yeah, okay? Carry. Right, this is the, yeah. do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Of course. Now, I didn't just do nothing wrong. So me and Eddie had spoke about this in depth down the phone. Me and Eddie was chopping it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, nah, you should have back, you should, I said, nah, Eddie, you can't come around the ends no more. Because enough times like, yeah. I'm in a barbershop and I'll just FaceTime Eddie and like, he'll be talking to the guys in the barbershop they have freaking questions to him. And he's like, nah, 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 nah. He goes, I did back him. And he sent me like all of the, all of the, the websites and all of the paper cuttings, he sent them yeah. all to me. So I said, you know what? I can't call your pussy on no more. You know, you know mm. what? It's like, I rate that still. Mm. You know what I mean? Even though Annie Joshua is a commodity which you earn fantastically from. Yeah. Right? But Annie Joshua has earned fantastically with the aid of Eddie Hearn That's as well. Yeah. It's a two-way It's a two -way like, street. I feel Definitely. over a period of time, there must become a point where they do have a, a certain connection where Eddie must understand and in his Joshua, like at that time when he mostly stood up and said what he said at the rally, he mostly felt the need to back him because he mostly looks at him more than yeah. just a commodity yeah, now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Whereas maybe four years before, it would have just let him. Maybe so. Let I, man think, hang. I, I, maybe even, so. I think even then he would have protected his. He's got to protect yeah, him. He's he's right. protect. He would have, it's business. So yeah. he would have protected him because if, if Anthony Joshua loses the, the, the support of the public, it's going to affect Eddie's yeah. pocket. So I'm not saying that's the agenda, yeah. but he has to take it into consideration. Right. Yeah, 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 so even yeah. if he was just come world champion, he still would have defended him yeah. because it's PR. And Eddie's a businessman, like man said. Exactly. He's going to protect him. And, and also, with the fact that this is like, I got to Eddie, how many black people you got working? How many, no, how many people of color you got working for you? For a match room now, and he quick to tell me, I got five. How about that one? I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shut my mouth then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, it's you know five I mean? a lot though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, 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 I'm saying, I, I remember, I've been in this game a long time. I remember not seeing not one. Yeah. So you saying five, that's yeah, five, that's massive. Doing, you know yeah, mean? Five's big, he's yeah, doing big. So, so you, you turn around saying you're five, but I'm saying like the real, the real, on this thing of like on diversity, it's just that they just know that I'm the guy that will say certain things. I think Eddie, I think Eddie heard as well while touching him is he's closer to the new generation, so he understands yeah, what it is. He ain't from he ain't so much from the old boys network. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so he's yeah. adapting with the times. Yeah. Maybe in the past, like his dad and them man did. Yeah. Well, you heard when his dad turned around Jesus and said like. Christ. Uh, let's call it as it is. But his dad said, "Oh, well, it's not. You know, I got to call him Mister White now. It's not like in our day, like we should run like the slave trade." Now, nah, this is the mm -hmm. thing: is this? Yeah. Check this one. Nah, I'm gonna be real. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. Mm -hmm. Right? That was disgraceful what you said. It was I'm disgraceful. Saying. But also, I'm not gonna sit down and say that 
Barry Earn is a racist. Yeah. And I can say, what do you mean? I'm going to be real with you. So I'm say, right, it's a, you're just an old, ignorant white man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you would never have turned around and had two Jewish fighters sat yeah. down and said to them, well, like in our day, we run it like this, this, yeah. this, this but Gestapo. You've know you got to be from right? a different type of generation to understand the difference. You see, like how you said it, it's yeah. a, like an ignorant old school thing. Yeah. You have to kind of, the new school generation just took it as flat out, mate, your dad's racist or whatever, yeah. whatever. But you have to kind of understand the difference to kind of get that. No, I'm saying, he, saying? Made, he, made, he made a racist comment, yeah, which was disgusting. It was disgusting, mm. right? And there were certain people who were down at Sky who were really upset by that. We're like, yeah. really? Certain guys who are, who are regardless friends who were really, I ain't calling names because, you know what I mean? Who are really, really white guys who were really upset by that. Mm. You know what I mean? But end of the day, they still got a smile and a nod because at that time, he's bringing in the food mm. into, into, that place of, into that place of business. So it is what it is. But they know, like, I'm that guy who's going to pull people on that. Yeah. That's just my nature. Because like yeah. on certain things, it's like, I don't know if I've got racial Tourette's or something. I don't know. But like on certain things, I just can't, I just don't sit right with me. I don't. Oh, and I the next thing is this, yeah. what I realise is this, is like, not everyone's going to like you, but who's meant to love you is going to love you. Mm. So once I realised that, it's like, like people get too twisted. Like, oh, don't you get upset by the comments. I say, who's the comments coming from? Is it coming from people that don't like me? Because I know like I come in here, I come on your show mm -hmm. and it's mad love. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, why would I look from, for love outside of people who don't understand my culture? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Why am I looking for love for people who, you know what I mean? I can't yeah, look for yeah. love from people like that. And listen, there's certain black people, I can't look for love from you neither. Because you, they don't even understand our culture. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. And, that, and that baffles them. So I always get, I always get when people say, oh, it's not about black and white. That's when I know it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the mere yeah. fact you're telling me it's not about black and white. Yeah, you're trying to... I, right, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know these little tricks. I'm, listen, yeah. I've been around Satan a long time. So therefore, you know what I mean? And when man get upset by me, I know reason being is because I know the God that's inside of me, the God that I serve, the God that's inside of me, the energy that's inside of me, interrupts the demonic spirits that's inside of them. Mm, big facts. Right? And, as, right? and <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you start realising that you go certain places, certain men don't, they don't like you off of the bat, it's because mm. they can feel your energy, you know? Yeah. And your energy interrupts them. Mm -hmm. Not only yeah. kind of interrupts, your energy just befuddles them that they could leave and all it. They ain't gonna say nothing good about it. They ain't gonna say, right, Doug, he's a cool brother. Like, that little puss, yo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pals, pals mm -hmm. going, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> why? You know why? Because the I God know, inside right. of I you know, I interrupts yeah. and disturbs yeah, the this. devil in them. Can't yes. sleep well. Yes. All right. Yes. yes. Middle of the night, they're waking up. Oh, yeah. that fucking pan sterling. Yeah. Right, come on. <laughs> Three right. in the morning. Right, right. <laughs> you, man, you man, watch and take, listen to what the man said. Yeah, yeah. He's not lying. Right, I'm big telling facts. you. Yeah, big facts. Right? Big facts. A lot of men are losing sleep. Right. So as soon as you know that, things are right. I don't give away your power. I'm yeah, not. No, so I realise I'm not giving away my power. That's right. And when cool. anyone's talking your name, good or bad, it's a good thing. That's right. Yeah. Good or bad, it's a good thing for you because they're calling your name and they don't understand how relevant they're making you. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to yeah. say? I'm like I'm now linked with MTK Global. You're gonna get to that. Big them up. Every no, time. no, I don't stop big them up. Can't stop. And the the work that I've been given, like to be on ESPN mm. Plus, it's only right. It's the argument's yeah, done. It's I don't, only I ain't right. Got to Before I even get to the MTK Global thing, let me just say, as a as a boxing aficionado and a man um, just going through the journey that Spencer said, like I know and I have done. Like my people, them that are boxers and stuff. If I call Spence, even, I'll message Spence. I won't even call him. I'll message him and say, "Boy, one of my boxers." Da, 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 da. He'll say, "Ring me." Put him on the phone with me, and he'll speak to him and say, "Like one of the guys, he took an L." Mm -hmm. Spence will just talk to him straight away, free way call, start talking to, him, trying to motivate him, trying to bring him up. Oh, He's yeah. got time for people. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I know yeah. you're with that from, and I know you take that mantle and that position not just with um, the low level or high level it's like all the way through mm, you could be right. up and coming you could be abas you could be this that i know you've got time for the man then yeah. but the only thing is with spencer and he ain't giving his energy to certain people unless yeah. he knows yeah, like, he's yeah, big on yeah, i'm yeah, the yeah, same yeah, though yeah, yeah. i'm the same but he's got time for people freely away to bro man. let me just let me tell you this yeah like i said time is you can't put a price on time that's right and you can't get it back you know what i mean but when i'm saying like I said to everyone, like, make your passion be your paycheck. I love this sport. I am being so grateful that mm -hmm. off of the back of it, 
that I can feed my family. I can look after. I can look after Praise my God. household. I can look after my children. Do you know what I mean? I can look after my mother. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, big. Right, and it's not being inside of this sport is not a nine to five because it never stops. Mm -hmm. Right, but sometimes because of that, like you still got to have your time where you spend with your children, and you spend with your loved ones, and all the rest. You have to put down your time for them as well. Mm -hmm. But like. <clears throat> Showing other people because, like, like the ends, if you're in a boxing, and because boxing risen so much, it's gone so high, it's like it means a lot when guys will call your name, like Dylan White will call your name, or Andy Joshua will call mm -hmm. your name, like you know, what I mean, pick up or, man, this, yeah, pick or, up or, or Derek Cesaro yeah. will call you, like these man will call your name, yeah, like nah, yeah. but Spencer's the guy, so that that's that's enough because yeah. all it does is attract the other people. So when other fighters are coming to me and say, oh, well, should I go train with this guy? What do you think? Da, da, da. So they come to me like I'm the go-to guy yeah, when they come yeah, to me, yeah, right? Yeah. You've got the knowledge. Right, so they'll, they'll, that, they'll that's, come to me. That's, the, man, that's the yeah. man's name, the yeah. knowledge. Yeah. The yeah. knowledge yeah. Right? So I will go to these, I will, I will give advice to these youths. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for no money off of it. That's right. Right? If we enter the, some contractual agreement, that's going to be totally different. But I'm not looking for no money. I just want to mm -hmm. see people just do well. Yeah. Reason why? Because I'm 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 doing well. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm being yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, right? It's not no boss. Like I'm, oh, God's blood. That breeze. Your blessings are coming. Yeah. Blessings are coming. Exactly. exactly. And this is why I always say he's a man. That's why I held my nut as I did yesterday because yeah. I know he's a like-minded individual to me. Yeah. I can only I can only do be like this with certain individuals, yeah, yeah, yeah. certain people that I know are of that kind of thinking. Yeah. I can't do with you if your energy's off. Off and all man. You see what I'm saying? But I know a man's pure hearted and he's a, and, and he's he, he knows it's more it's not money. It's more than just monetary gains and money and these things. It's it's where's your spirit at? And yeah. we'll get our blessings one yeah. in the long right. run. Yeah, man, man. See, you know what I'm trying to say is like <clears throat> keep on saying this. One of the most underrated blessings is that you woke up in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? True that, man. And it's it's underrated yeah. until someone close to you dead. And not somebody, so, dead, not yeah. someone close to you dead who, who, well, you know, they're the good in his way. 94 and him dead, you know. Yeah. And like, people are bar. I said, 94, you meant they're dead at 94. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. real. You got what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. But when someone, when someone's life is cut short, when you know someone like, especially that we had this COVID pandemic going on, I know a couple guys like my age who drop out mm. and they, they put down to the COVID and da, 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 all the rest of it. I said, whatever. Conspiracy or no conspiracy, something was licking down people. Yeah, right. Hundred percent. So when you see that, you see, you start realizing, like, right, it's a blessing just to wake up. Hundred. It's a blessing to have a roof over your head. It's a blessing you got food in your yeah. fridge. Hundred yeah. percent. Know where your next meal's coming from? Yeah. Come on, man. Hundred percent. When you when you on those kind of things, you have to say that boy. I'm good. Right. Because I'm I'm pure, I'm excellent. Pure facts. Yeah. You know I mean, like, you, I you got car to drive? Yeah. What? Yeah. You got car to drive as well? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we mean, talk this because it's like when this. you start to think like that, now you start to kind of stop looking at what you ain't got and start yeah. appreciating what you do have yes, and, 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 and it I'm you, changes the whole bro, dynamic of I'm your life. You, you know like, what I'm as you lot know, like losing my brother at 20, changed my whole, my brother at 20 went and that just changed my whole outlook yeah. on everything. My my level of, of what the way I look at things, the way my brother, other brother looks at things, it totally changes everything. Mm -hmm. so, so what you're saying is spot on. It gives you the biggest appreciation of everything. Yeah. You understand? Do that, it, it, it does. It does. Yeah. Fully. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, it's like you know what I mean, like the more gratitude that you express is the more abundance that you experience. That's right. Mm -hmm. Enough yeah. people don't get this part. Of it. That's what so when you start saying, right, I'm just grateful, you know, gym, yeah. I'm grateful. You know, it's like I've got like I got a five year old. I got five. My five year old daughter, Tyler, is like she's just coming to her own personality now. Mm. And I'm saying, like she's getting a little sassy and like, oh, like I'm like, this is little. But just the gratefulness of knowing that I can just look on my my, my, my five year old and just hug her and mm -hmm. bite her cheeks. You know what I mean? And yeah. you hug her every day, every hug, chance you get her, like hug, hug, hug every chance you get. Every day. Every day. She's big, she's gonna every, be like, no, 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 she's, every she's gonna day. always remember. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be every hugging day, me all the time. every yeah. day. My mm. my three year old's the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? My son the same. You, you love hug your children. You love yeah. watching. Hug your children, man. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. You love take the moment. Love, spend time with your telling children. You, Goes I'm a long way, man. I, I'm telling you because, like, before I was just on this, boy, I got to go do this. Mm -hmm. Got to earn this amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, this is my head. You but, know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I am? I'm supposed to feel on. What, you see me on TV? Well, the guy, you know? No, no, yeah. brother. No. All them things don't mean nothing if your kids don't respect you. Yeah. They mean, That's don't right. mean nothing. That's right. I'm just... Being, That's right. no. If your kids don't respect you, you know what I mean? My eldest daughter, she doesn't live with me. My oldest daughter, she turned 15 yesterday, right? Mm. And 
But it's the way she was just foaming. It's a mad, like, uh, me and her would just talk about rubbish. But she just want to talk to her dad. She'll phone me just to talk rubbish. Like, I'll talk to my dad. You know what I mean? And it's like a both, right? You know, my dad is like talking to her. Like, you know, my dad is my dad. You know, my dad is like, yeah. But just the appreciation of your, of your children, because the real eternal life ain't you dying and going to no heaven, you know? Mm-hmm. Your real eternal life's through your picking them. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm just keeping this thing 100. Keeping it 100. I'm just keeping it 100. Keeping that 100. is your rule. You know what I mean? And how you raise your kids, you know what I mean? And then how your kids go on to raise their kids. Uh-huh. It's like every morning I take my son to school. We're going to school. And like, I'm big on affirmations and stuff like that, right? And I make my son, he just got to say affirmations. You know what I mean? And he's got to say his affirmations. I remember like, it was about two years ago, we're going to school and he's, it's like, we reached the school gate, he's got to say his affirmations. He's say his affirmations. And he goes, you know what? My kids are gonna do this when I'm when when yeah. I'm a dad. And I said, for real? Yeah. He said, yeah, my 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 kids are gonna do it. He said, because I do this with you, daddy. You know what I mean? You know what? I go, oh, like I was wanting to well up. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. He's like what? <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, my son Amari said that to me. I was like, bro, look at this little man. Yeah. Right. So you gotta understand these things are important, man. And, and, that, like, and that carries on because you think if he passes that down to his kids, that's, that's, that's like it's gonna. It yeah. Something that stem from something you created course, that's listen, gonna go on listen, for generations, I, isn't it? Listen, I do. I, I I do prayers with my with my kids. Yeah. I do the same prayer that me and you was doing, Dean, when we was when we was youths, that our parents made us do, and and. I would feel confident mm-hmm. that it will probably continue on. Yeah. Because my big son, I did it with him until he's, until he's of age. And now I'll just say it to him, like, say it for us. Like right now, me and my son, we're doing a rice experiment, right? And you know, like you take three pockets of rice, speak to the rice, you write on it one little jar, I hate you, have a jar, I love you. And the other jar, you just leave, you ignore it. Do it over 30 days. I tell anyone, let's do the rice. I live by this, right? I do this. I I can show you after. I'll show you the video, Mm. right? I do this with my son. I do the rice experiment with my son. We just started it. But I've I've known about this for like 20 years, right? It was Dr. Yamoto from Japan who Mm. passed away now. But he, I think in 1989, he did this, right? So you speak to the rice. So boil up rice, take it out, put it in the three containers. Hate, love, ignore on the other one. Speak to one that you say that you love, say that I love you, you're beautiful, do it for a minute. Leave it. Go to one that I hate. I hate you, you make me sick, you're disgusting, you're revolting. And it's like, all oh, my kids get involved in it. So like, even my little three year old, yeah, I hate you, I hate you, so, you know, <laughs> yeah. right? Awesome. Right, boom. Do it over 30 days. I guarantee you, the one that you say that I hate will start to turn black. Yeah. You don't believe me? Go check it out. Go do it yourself. Mm. So I'm doing it, right? So I'm showing my kids from now. You my free you get it wrong. My words are powerful. Yeah, yeah your words are powerful because yeah, we are all carbon based. Yeah. Right? So we letting off our energy. So boom. The one that you say you love stays the same. Yeah. Doesn't change. It lets off like a little sweet smell. If you open the jar, it smells sweet. Mm. Yeah. The one that you ignore still starts to decay itself. Mm. Yeah. Right? But not as a fast and red as the one that you're saying you hate. Yeah, so you're yeah. saying like when you have no goal or no real destination, you know what I mean? You're destined for your own destruction because mm-hmm. you're you're impartial, yeah. right? So you have to have a cause. If you don't have a yeah. cause, then you're, you're, you're going to do it. But it shows you how powerful the average human body is 65% water, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So we've got this inside mm-hmm. of us. So you can, whatever you internalize is going to be your eternity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you hold on to certain things, when you hold on to it, you hold on to grudge, you're thinking these negative thoughts and all the rest of it, everything starts from your thinking, thinking based first and yeah. then it becomes word based. But it becomes word based, that's when it becomes carbon based. And when it becomes carbon based, you can affect and change, change me- molecular structure. Mm. So this thing's deep. People so, don't get that. Right. Thing, so my son's nine, he knows this. So he said, right. So I said, what have you learned from this? He said, I learned to guard my words. Come on, words Teach are powerful, mm. right? In scripture, it tells you like this, like life and death is in the tongue. Of course it is. It's in the tongue. Yeah. So mind what comes out your mouth. Yeah. So if you really, so once you realize like how powerful your words are, you'll be, you, you'll choose what you turn Very around and wisely. say. Yeah. Right, you'll choose, you'll choose wisely. Yeah. So if I'm shining this to my, my, my son, who's nine, his little sister, who's five, he's, he's, he's having a little sister that's three, and they're seeing this, from now, they're gonna know to guard their words. They're gonna know how powerful they are. They're gonna know like not to internalize certain things. You know what I mean? They're gonna know like but we don't spend too much time on the TV. We're mm-hmm. not gonna contaminate our minds with certain things to make our words be contaminated. So mm-hmm. these are the things that to me are important. Yeah. These are the things that this is this is the whole thing. Like, yeah, this is the thing. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, fully. I it's speaking important. speaking of words, I read a big article from you last year. You were speaking mm-hmm. on um, what's the man there? Task Fury's manager or part of the management team, Kin- Daniel Killahan. Killahan. Okay. Am I saying the name right? Okay. Oh, he's a. Uh, he was Tyson Fury's he was, advisor at the time. Was it advisor, yeah? He was Tyson Fury's advisor at the time. I don't know, I yeah. saw some big um, TV programs <laughs> yeah, and all that yeah, thing oh, there man, in, yeah, the other day. Man. I don't know. They, we, they, like to, they, like to, they like to call that man's name in, in... You know, you can glorify certain things. Yeah. Right? We have to understand from the environment where we come from. Now, I've just got to keep this thing 100. Always. Regardless about what we're reading in the newspapers... And all the rest of that nonsense. I think he made a, he made a statement a few months back uh, on Talksport. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Man hasn't got any criminal record. Yeah. Argument done. Right. Argument done. <laughs> I don't. Be- <laughs> Argument done. <laughs> Argument done. <laughs> right. Right. So they could paint the picture. Yeah. All they want. And the thing about it is, I'm not. I'm not jumping here to say. Oh, I'm up this microphone. Rips. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, it's good. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Rips. I'm not. I'm not here to run and say like. I'm defending this man because I'm getting paid to defend the man or the 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 the, the. bruv. When a man is around who who just like I said, there's people who know this guy. Mm-hmm. There's people who go around an EA's table, you know what I mean? But they're quick to deny him. As soon as his name they're like, well, well you know what I mean? I can't do that. I'm not raised like that. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you're if you're showing me love and I'm showing you love and it's reciprocated, mm-hmm. and you turn around and say, right, you're my guy, I'm your guy, you're my guy too, it's done there. So when people want to talk about all of this, it's glorified nonsense. He is one of the biggest hearted people that I know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just being real. And like enough people don't get, what, Spence, what? That's right. A white Irish brother. Me, Spencer Ferron, who gets branded racist and gets branded, I could turn around and say, I love that man because he's a good friggin' man. He goes out of his way to make sure that people are all right. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Now, you're not going to get many people like that who generally, and it's not, it's not monetary business as well. Man will be on you to say, right, I want you to better yourself because like, like, yeah, you're good at what you're doing, but I know I can see greatness in you. Man's coming to me and saying that to me. I say, right, I'm the one that gives the most what he speaks. <laughs> yeah. But he's like, right, like, no, no, but I can see. Sometimes come you on. need to hear it. Do you get what I'm trying to yeah. say to you? Mm-hmm. Nah, you, you got to work on yourself. And I say, what are you talking about? I'm working on myself. No, you need to work on yourself. And man's on you. Yeah. When you got when you got man like that around you, then I'm saying like, you're a real guy. Yeah. Simple as that. So I hear all the, all the, 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 the dumb ass documentaries and, all in kind of foolishness. I'm saying, right, have any of you sat down and reasoned with the man? Have any of you been around the man? Now, I'm saying, I'm just keeping this thing 100. Like, this is how I go, is this. You know what I mean? Treat me with respect. I'll show you the same. Mm-hmm. As simple as that. Simple. So, no, guy's a good man. You know what I mean? Good, good man. You know what I mean? Loves, loves boxing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, has done some major inroads where he's helped out fighters. And like I said, allegations are allegations. You know what I mean? And and allegations come from the word of allegory. And if you think, what is an allegory? An allegory is a made-up story. All right. Well, that's it then. We ain't got to say no more on that. <laughs> no more. that. <laughs> Moving on. MTK. That's yeah. your, 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 your yeah, work with MTK. Yeah, the foundation, yeah. And which um, is a, uh, what's it? It's a corporate social responsibility. Mm. And I run the foundation. I've been doing that for like three, four years now. Which is it's incredible. Like people get twisted. Like nobody said it was a charity. It does charitable things because mm-hmm. of the funds reserved from the company that go out and we help people. So it's right, expensive. We're gonna go do. So like straight away, like this, um, we've helped out so many, so many people. Like I remember the Manhood Academy that do great things within the community. Great things. They uh, they need a minibus to carry your kids back and forth from school. Yeah. You know what I mean, and I got the money raised for that. A yeah. um, couple of youths, we've helped out Lennox Lewis's um, foundation academy in Jamaica, where he wanted some equipment. We got him boxing ring, and the, this for the these are for the ghetto youths in, in yard. You know what yeah. I mean, we've helped out Peck and BMX in. We've yeah. helped out the like the homeless, like every Christmas. I see, I've seen. Yeah, I do the homeless things, feeds, yeah. right? So at first. Where we started, I just put it on my Instagram. So yeah, I'm going. I'm going to five different spots around London, where we're helping feed the homeless. 
the amount of people that just jumped on my Insta and said, yeah, I'm there, what do you need? Da, 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 da. Yeah. I didn't have to phone the company and say, why could you send me over this money? They started it and then from for the back of it, how it just trickled. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're out and it's, it's only when you start seeing like homeless people who are, they're in stum. Mm -hmm. And you think to yourself like, boy, you spend a day with them and certain times you're leaving it's like you want to cry. Do you know what I mean? But you just, like, you can feel it and you, like, you think, boy, when you feel like, well, you look on certain people and you say, well, how, how did you go from where you say you were, like you're having conversation with them, like to where you are now? Yeah. And I'm saying like, it was like a bad turn and a lot of time it's not drink, it's not drug. It's like, yeah, I was working at this place and then, I, yeah, I brought, the me and my missus yeah. broke, mm. me and my missus broke up and then it was like, that was it. And, and I'm thinking, rah. Do you know what I mean? That could happen to anyone, you know? Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That yeah, could happen to yeah. anyone. Thing, yeah. Everyone on the, on the right. streets is drink and drugs. Right, and exactly. So yeah. enough times you've seen someone like, or like loads of times you see someone who's homeless and you think to yourself, oh, just go find a job. Or, nah. It's not that easy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not that easy. So yeah. like I'm saying, like me doing the bits for, for the foundation, I've been so blessed. You know what I mean? I've been to Pakistan with the foundation, been to orphanages out there. Yeah, you know I mean, we got invited out by Imran Khan, the, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, oh. um, with Oxford Community Hub. Um, there, I've been to Bosnia and Gerda. Now, when you go to Bosnia, do you see the Bosnic war that went on? When you see, like, you're going past houses where you're seeing, you're still seeing the gunshots in the, in the walls, you know? Like, mm -hmm. when you see, like, what happened, like, uh, in, in Croatia, when you, when you see those kind of, and this is, this is, this is, like, White people killing off other white people. Yeah, yeah. German, you know and saying what, what, what? Oh yeah, but but the reason we're doing it is because someone practices a different religion to, to what someone else practices. Yeah. When you're seeing those kind of things, it's, it's it tears your heart, yeah. but then it also makes you realize like people can cuss the UK what they want, right? But these things ain't going on over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. You know what I mean? Right, the, the, right we got yeah. different over yeah, there. Yeah, we got trust. We're not like we got good Chechnyans and yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, yeah, when you see. <laughs> when you see that, but like on that, one day they killed yeah. eight thousand people, yeah, eight thousand yeah. three hundred and forty-two oh people God. in one day. See, you know like what I mean? Palestinians and just, right. Yeah. When you see those kind of things, then you start to appreciate life. And you know, like, of course, what we do, we we work on our uh, on our similarities. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? But what we should be doing, we should be building on similarities that like we're all human beings. So we should be yeah. working on similarities. So the difference is the difference is maybe your size, yeah. your skin tone, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the there is no difference because the similarities that we're all human beings. Yeah. And when you go to these war torn countries, or you see how the degree, you hear the stories. Mm -hmm. You know I mean, I was in Bosnia. Was it two years ago? I was in Bosnia, and a, a lady who 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 survived, yeah, said that she saw her husband and her son get murdered, one after the other. Like they killed the husband, and they said to the son, "Go and bury your dead." And they gave him a shovel. And he had to dig the grave. He dig the grave and then they shot him as well in front of his mom. Right? So when you see them stories there, right? When you see when you see those things there, and a woman saying, like, but you know what? I got in my heart to forgive. Yeah. When I heard that, you know. How do you forgive that? Yeah. When I heard that, I said, you know what? I ain't holding no grudge with no one, you know. <laughs> now I'm gonna be real. Yeah. When a woman told me that, I said, I'm not holding no grudge with no one. Yeah. I'm not holding no grudges. Because if you're graduating on them levels there... Bro, this <laughs> lady know. said to me, <laughs> I've got it in my heart to forgive them. Yeah. yeah I was hard. like, what? Now, in my... It, seriously, I, so when you see these kind of things, you have to understand, like, the human condition, yeah, can be so evil mm. on another level of evil. Yeah? But then at the same time, just that woman showing me, telling me that she can find it in her heart to forgive. And when she broke it down as well, because she was actually Muslim, she said like, because I know that that God, Allah, she said, God forgives. So who am I not to forgive? I knew I knew, I knew that's where it was come stemming yeah. from. Right? I knew that's where it yeah. was stemming mm -hmm. from. Yeah. So when that lady said that to me, I said, I'm not holding on grudges, you know? Mm -hmm. You can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's real. I feel you. All right. Let's swing it back around now. Let's get back to boxing. Mm-hmm. By the time this comes out, Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo would have fought. Yeah. So your prediction is going to come out after the fight now. Right. What are you saying to me? How are you calling that one, Spence? You know what? Billy Joe's my guy. 
and I'm keeping this thing 100. Even if I thought that Billy Joe was going to get broke up and destroyed mm. and humiliated, mm. right? He's still beating Canelo. Even if I fought it. I but I'm not saying that I think that. I think Billy Joe is an incredibly talented boxer. Yeah. And he's a southpaw. But Canelo is still the best fighter in the world. And uh, there's arguments right now like, rah, they want to change the ring size. So it's big, like, Billy Joe's dad saying, like, listen, we're willing to go home. And what people are like, I don't know what's going to happen from what's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Travelers are a different mindset. Mm -hmm. And what meant to, I grew up with them, travelers, mm -hmm. right? You know, on the ends, pounds, you know, when when a, when a when travelers, tra yeah. mm -hmm. they weren't scared of black man nah. at all. They'll punch at your teeth. You have to, they, you have to be, <laughs> now you have to be the travelers. No, no, they, they were on it. All right, all right. On on it. It. Nah, let's just be real. Yeah. Let's on be it, real. Bro. Travelers would punch at your teeth, yeah, and you know it, they bro. were brazen because they try to sell your TV when you take it home. You got yeah. rocks in the in the box. Bro, they know they right, used to do right. the brave and the yeah, bros. They were brazen. One sold me an yeah. iPhone for two hundred pound outside fucking um, yeah. Alphas, bro. When I it was everything, switch it on, yeah, yeah, it was fine. Like he showed, he sold it to me on. Yeah. Bruv, when I got home to put my SIM in it, yeah, and switch it off and it sw and switch it back on it, it loaded up with the Android. <laughs> <laughs> see? Hey, I was vexing up, but then the show was like, Carry on, go on, go on, go on, go on, carry on, carry on. That would be 100. Go on, carry on, carry right. on. Carry travelers, on. travelers' mindset ain't the same as, as. Mm -mm. do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You go, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the, 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 I'll tell you, I'm going to try and arrange it for you to get him on the show. It's mm. John Fury, Tyson Fury's dead. Mm. Yeah. Realist man, real yeah. man, in no business, right, yeah. right. And when you talk, when you talk, when you talk to them man, and they break down the history, which I, which I knew anyway, mm. right. Travelers ain't had it easy, you know. Nah. You know what I mean, travelers haven't had it easy. And Billy Joe's cut from that cloth, where he's, his dad saying, "Listen," and I've seen this before, because I saw this in 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 um, fifteen when Tyson Fury went to fight Klitschko, mm -hmm. yeah. And Lennox Lewis was over there. And Lennox Lewis phoned me. He said, right, I think he's going on. Because he said, right, if you don't change the I ring. the ring. Was it too... Right. Too, it was too spongy. Too spongy. Right? And that wears mm. out your legs. Mm. But Klitschko trains on them rings. Yeah. So Klitschko's going to be fine. And I remember they said they was going to go on. Right. And Lennox Lewis said to me... as well. Yeah, of course, mm. Rago. Mm. Lennox Lewis said, if you jump from the top rope like mm. WWE... And you landed on your head, you're gonna bounce back the thing with so spongy. <laughs> right? So I said, Rah. So he said, Tyson Fury said, look, if you don't change the thing, I'm going home. When them traveler man say them things there, they mean it, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's not like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They mean it because them men stand for something. They stand. Them men got principles. Right. That's why I fuck right. with them men. Right. Them men. Them men stand real. for something. They do. Yeah, it's not they, about do. The bread. Mm. they do. They mm. do. It's not. It's not about the bread. So when Billy Joe's saying, right, I will go home. I will go home. Because I'm sure he's getting six mil for that fight, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what could happen, right? I could be in a crystal ball right now. You can play if I'm right. Mm -hmm. If he goes home, he's going to fight Chris Eubank Jr. And he's going to get four mil. It's all right. Right? Can work. right? Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. But I believe... That, if, that would be their second fight. It would be a second fight. Yeah. Because he beat Eubank yeah, he the beat first Eubank, fight. Yeah, yeah. Eubank five took years long ago. to get going in that one. I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you were saying that Eubank took long to get going. When people say, oh, well, uh, Eubank, he, he started late. Wait, 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 was he in the changing room or something? Mm -hmm. He was in the ring fighting <laughs> yeah, the man. So I don't want to hear none of that talk. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean, his experience. Yeah. And, and I think he was a bit scared of like, oh, I'm going to top myself out. But mm -hmm. First time at 12 rounds, though. No? First time he's 12, yeah. oh, right? Yeah. But, Billy, but Billy Joe is capable of beating Canelo. I'm telling you, them travellers, they're a different breed, bro. Yeah, they're different. They are a different breed. And, but yeah. my cat, and, and my Billy cat, Joe's a different level as well. Yeah. I, I'm a Billy Joe fan. A I think he's a, yeah. he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a boxing IQ and, and yeah, his ring craft is is crazy. Like yeah, if you wanted to say to someone box this, look at someone and how to box. You're gonna you can follow Billy Joe and what he does. The thing is now with Canelo. No, it's different. Really. Them men are coming with the same mentality. They're Mexicans yeah. to come with the same yeah. kind of mentality. Yeah. 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 They're not, yeah. so, so they're, they're not backing off. Though. And I think the only thing, what I look at as a big variable in this, apart from the fact that he's a next level boxer, Canelo is, I think the fact that he's fought Kovalev and these men up at light heavy, he's willing to walk through Billy Joe. That's yeah. what I question. Yeah. That he, he's willing to walk yes. through. Yes. And there's only so long you can manoeuvre around him because he's willing to walk, yeah. walk through it and keep coming like, and keep like, coming. Like, like, I, like I said, right? <laughs> Billy, so, Joe's, Billy Joe's my guy. And... If that same guy, all of Billy Joe's attributes, and Canelo was up against him, I would say Canelo's gonna beat this guy on points. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? 
Yeah. That's what yeah. that's what I'd go for. To be yeah. real, I said Canelo's gonna beat him on points. But because it's Billy Joe, I'm back in the Billy Joe brings it. I hope Billy Joe knocks him out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Billy, back I'm, I'm, I like Billy Joe, but I'm 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 my eyes Canelo. Yeah, yeah. Realistically, yeah, no, realistically I'm, I'm, I'm keeping yeah. it 100. No, no, no. I like Billy. Canelo's like, a G. I love what everything they stand for. Like you said, the traveler yeah. thing, I love it. But for me, like I feel like Canelo's gonna edge this one. But we'll see. You never know. Fight night, every stop is late, yeah. late, late stop yeah, I mean, if it even happens. But late stop is potentially. Who anyway. Billy Joe? Yeah. Yeah, because he goes he goes points, he's never gonna get it. He's never going to get it. Canelo could do 12 rounds. He's not getting it. Canelo could do 12 rounds. Next one, next one. Yep. Fury fights Joshua. Say it happens. What's your what, you, your ears out there? What are we saying? Is it happening, Spence? Just give me some inside information. You know what? Last I heard from very good sources, reliable sources, right? Reliable sources mm. is that the fight should be signed off for next week, mm-hmm. right? If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, but I believe that the fight should happen. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe that it should happen and I believe that it will happen. I believe that it will happen this year as well. Who wins? It's a toss up. And the reason why is this the certain time I'm sitting there and I said, right, any Joshua could knock out Tyson Fury. Same as mm. right? Just knock it out, some pounded yam, proper. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? And rrr, and tear it up. But Tyson Fury's boxing IQ is ridiculous. Crazy. It's ridiculous. His high IQ is higher than Billy Joe Saunders. Mm. Yeah. Right? His high his IQ is out. His IQ must be one of the highest in the world today. I mm. think so. Right? Mm-hmm. He's a proper fighting man. But there is something about the if Andy Joshua let me tell you this, I'm gonna be real. I think Tyson Fury was a better fighter when he never had the public acceptance. When they were then it was a game. Yeah, when with a chip on his shoulder, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, chip on his shoulder. You know what I mean? But you see this thing here? When they start love you. And you start talking about, oh, Andy Joshua. Could you imagine if I said that? Uh, uh, Black Lives Matter rally. Oh, could you imagine? Remember that? Mm. That could come back and bite you in the bum. Because yeah. if Andy Joshua had high guard and said, right, you know what? We're just going to have it. Like, road. Mm-hmm. This is about this. Yeah. This boxing thing. We're just going to have it. I'm tight guard. I'm going to fight off on my jab. Because Tyson Fury is so rhythmic, you got to time that guy and he can pull back and he likes to throw in little short shots as well. Yeah, flick out the wrist. And yeah, that. exactly. If if Andy Joshua has a high tight guard, similar to when he fought Klitschko, right, and just bit down the gum shield, Andy Joshua could possibly stop Tyson Fury. Mm. But, right, but in the same, in the same instance, in the same instance, Tyson Fury could mug off Andy Joshua. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Outbox him like ridiculously. We've also the option as well because I kind of move like I've said, I've said it on here. I've said I think Fury wins, but then lately I've been like, no. What I said was I feel Fury can outbox him. I think for AJ to compete and win, I think he has to come in. He can't do the Andy Ruiz thing, no, no. the Andy Ruiz rematch thing. I mean, he can't do that no, no. and come and want to be can, slick. Can, can, he's gonna, yeah, get out, that get, work. He has to come in as the unit, the AJ yeah, yeah, unit, yeah, 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 yeah. and thump man over. Yeah, but AJ the, the thing that's throwing the kind of back a, a next level to it. Is Fury now potentially now? He came in as the unit and tumped over Wilder, and that kind of threw a whole different twist. Bro, no, I, I feel, feel like, like he had, had twist, I feel like he had Wilder you don't think, mentally. Yeah, in let me that tell you. Fight. Let you, me tell you don't yeah. think he can come in like that, spent tick, and kind of try to back AJ up like how he backed up no, Wilder? No. Um, because Wilder is very limited technically. Very limited. Even though he holds his, like he's in the rings holding his hands like this. It's like, he's, he's limited technically. But it's amazing his accomplishments of him having the long title defences and all the rest of it. But skill-wise, Andy Joshua's above Deontay Wilder, but Andy Joshua is as, as, as athletic as Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder's a very athletic guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he can punch. The guy can really, really punch, mm-hmm. right? And he just can lick. And he just hits you. You're gonna know, like, right, I've been hit, Come on. right? But I think if he tries to box Tyson Fury, that'd be the worst mistake that he ever makes. Mm. You know what I mean? Definitely. Right. That's what I tried to say. To you. Right. you can't box that guy. But he's ticking him out. He's gonna, he's gonna go for the knockout. I know that. He has to go he for the knockout. He can't try beat Barcelona. He has to go for the knockout. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If he comes in, if I see he comes in at a certain weight 
and he looks big, ticking. Big, I'm saying, ticking I'm saying AJ yeah, can, yeah, yeah, it can yeah, happen. Yeah. I'm saying right. AJ can knock him out. Right. AJ can knock him out anyway, but I'm I'm just I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm saying like Fury can go down. He goes down. Yeah, but he gets up. He gets up. He gets up. He can mad like though. So that's the that's the worrying thing because it looks like Fury looks for who? Huh? Worrying thing for who? When worrying thing for himself. Because think so. I think you like you understand boxing, yeah. isn't it? Not that if you start to lose the weight, you lose the power. No, you don't think. No, no, no. no. You don't power don't work like that. Mm-hmm. Power don't work like that. It's like that's because you push like, bare weight to like the Deontay Wilder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You push bare weight. Look how light Deontay Wilder is. And yeah. Yeah. exactly, Wilder's lighter than all of them. You know, exactly. I didn't, I didn't think Fury was ever known to be a power puncher though. Nah, Fury can hit, man. Yeah, yeah, he can hit. He can hit. But he's not, he's not an out and out. He's not, yeah, he's not an out and out. He doesn't sit down on his punches really because he's a mover. Yeah, Yeah. he's not an out and out. Right, I'm just going to look that to knock out, man. But. Mm. Because I think the Wilder fight is the only fight man really saw him really lay down something. Nah, well, the thing about it is this, it's like. Compared to other fights, I always see him, he's just always. He's always out punching. Yeah, but I know, but he don't. Because he don't have to. He's bored, in fact. He's playing with man a lot of the time. You don't want to see him fight. Let me tell you this that guy is a real technician. Mm. A real, real technician. But I do see flaws in him. Yeah. I see flaws. Not a lot, but I do see flaws. He was that someone like an Anthony Joshua, if he's properly studying this thing, he could explore. Sure, he is. Yeah, I mean, sure he is. I hope. Uh, listen, uh, I hope AJ brings it home. But yeah, come yeah I was one of those that said that because I've watched Fury for so long and I rate him, and I see Wilder for what he is. I was one of them that said he can beat him coming now, off the sofa. Fury, Fury. I was, I was on that. I was yeah, like yeah. saying, listen. He's gonna give him all he can handle. Or he's, mm-hmm. I didn't think he'd lose. I said he was gonna win. Mm-hmm. He was a draw in the end, didn't it? But it was I, a draw. The, but Tyson Fury won that. He won that fight, mm-hmm. won that and fight. I said he would win it. Yeah, but man. it is what it is. So all right, that's covered. That's covered. Um, your podcast with Tunde. Oh man, yes, yeah, bear jokes, huh? Funny. Uh, we did, we did, we did a, we did a fight along. We did the Derek Cesaro fight along, brother. I fell asleep, you know. I fell asleep, bro. I fell asleep. Nah, you know what it was? I ain't gonna lie. With the Parker fight? Yeah. yeah. Ramadan. I was gonna say, yeah. It was Ramadan, and like, my three year old now, she's like looking on the switch, like for, for the heating. Like, she's just fast, so she turned up the gauge. <laughs> so I'm in my front room now. I'm sitting down in my front. I'm like, Rice. <laughs> like, I feel, nah, no, it's like, I feel a little bit tired now. But you know what it was like? We started the we started the we started the we started the fight along early. We started at like five thirty. We started at five thirty. Darius yeah, Azora's not climbing the ring till half ten. Yeah, man's been right? never started that too. And then early. boom, you know I mean, Eleven. yeah. <laughs> if the car broke my fast, I go eat and I had I, I, I some bad boy lamb as well. Yeah, the, yeah. Then, then the heat's lamb. nice. The and he's like, yeah, hey, bro, I'm there. And I've I've said, bro, I'm tired, you know. And it's not like I can say to the people that, bro, we're jumping off because, boy, this super chat thing, you need to get on that, you know. You start doing lives and start doing super chats, bro. People just donating money, donating money, donating. Money. You're like 500, 600, a grand a show. I'm yeah, like, what? Through people just donating. So I'm like, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm alright, bro. I'm feeling know. sleep. I'm fighting asleep, boy. I said, bro, I just dropped. I fell asleep. I, like totally start laughing. Was the camera on. The camera's on, bro. Totally <laughs> laughing his head off, bro. You know what I mean? To his love, <laughs> to his love, his head off. But yeah, so how it goes is this: is like when my contract went renewed with Sky, mm. I got loads of offers to do boxing podcasts mm. and like decent money as well. And Tundi said, "You know what? I, before I never used to think that I was ready to go talk boxing with you, but I could sit down now. I reckon we could chop it up. Come, let's do our own thing." I was like, "Come then." And when I mean, I was getting offers, I was getting offers with some good money as well. I said, "Come, come, let's do it, man." You know what I mean? You're my guy. Come. And he just bought all the equipment and he got a producer who made a made an advert for Anthony Yard. So he got this producer guy, Gary. Gary Blake is our guy, a man with a cam. And like, boom. He set up all the equipment in Tony's kitchen and we just started it from there. And then it started to just get numbers and we we'll started talking about it. And then the thing that gave us the real big bus was when we got Mark Breland because Mark Breland sure, didn't talk sure, after sure, accusations sure. and da 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 And I phoned up Mark. I said, yeah, jump on the thing. And he was like, all right, all right, cool. And he agreed to do it. And then when he agreed to do it, now, a couple of hours before we had him on live, he was like, ah, oh, speak to my lawyer. Yeah. Like, Regin, speak to your lawyer for. He said, speak to my lawyer. I'm like, Sha. all right, cool. Speak to his lawyer. Mina's chopping it up. I said, all right, listen, we won't have to mention about the wilder thing because I'm not going to sue him and da, 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 so we don't want to talk about it. All right, cool. 
So we got group chat. So in the group chat now, I sent in the group message. Yeah, we yeah, he's definitely coming on now. That's big, big Tony's gas, Gary's gas. Yeah, he's coming on the thing. Uh, but we can't talk about the Wilder situation. But Tony didn't read it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Tony didn't read it. He didn't see that part. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. He didn't see it because he didn't open it up to look on it. That's a dog. Yeah. Right. Cool. <laughs> right. Right. So you need, but you need them, man, because <laughs> because that interview went viral, yeah, bro. Come on. Yeah. It went. Out, still. Everyone was like, "Yep, yeah, yeah." It went viral. Everyone's quoting it, and like, yeah, it went viral. Yeah, that was a go-to thing. So I was like, "I mean, I can't." So it was like, like doing doing a. It's just like what you're doing with Doug. Yeah, you know I mean, you're doing a thing with your bridging. That's right. You know what I mean? So you can't get no realer than that. And that's mm. that's the real that's the realness. When you're doing something with your bridging, mm. it's not like work. You got all your man them in here. That's it's not as you want. Game changer. Mm -hmm. Right. But, uh, it's, that's the thing. What it's about right now. Yeah. We we put in graph working this, that, the other for at uh, this place and that place. Now you are just enjoy be around your people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's nothing there's nothing greater than that. Yeah, yeah, come on, fam. It's powerful, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because you're like, you're doing your things and you're like, boy, you know what? This is like, so it's not work. When you do things with your mates, it's, it's not like, work. I'm going to be real. The love that I get MTK Global, mm -hmm. like day to day when I'm doing my bits, mm -hmm. it don't feel like work, mm -hmm. even though there's an end goal and destination to it, but it don't mm -hmm. feel like work because you're mm -hmm. doing things with your pals, you're doing things, everyone's encouraging you, you, know, you go do your thing, da, 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 da. or the rest of it, you're chopping it up. Mm -hmm. Same like when I'm doing a podcast with Tun, it's like, rah, you know what? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then once we started the podcast, mm -hmm. Then ESPN contacted me and said, "Well, the MTK Global got the got the shows on. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Do you wanna? You know I mean, do you wanna do punditry for us? You know what I mean? And that was for another link of one of my pals. I'm like, yeah, do you wanna go? I said, yeah, of course I do. You know what I mean? And then the first fight I did was uh, was your cousin. Yeah, you know what I mean, I remember. Yeah, was your cousin with Dan Aziz. I saw it. But yeah. people don't realize this. ESPN Plus, that's going out to America. Mm -hmm. They got 15 million people on their app." Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so, big. yeah. So it's like it's just constantly best. keep on moving. So it's like never stops. yeah, yeah. Just just constantly keep on moving. When you constantly yeah. keep on moving, then then things start happening. You know I mean it's all sorts about activating your blessings. As soon as you just go like this, I say to everyone, I say to take your finger, activate press that button, your yeah. activate your blessings. And that's the perfect. You know I mean? That's and, the perfect. Right. Note. And don't just count your blessings, but live them. And yeah. when you can live your blessings, then you then you then you're going through. Like yeah. Garvey said, you know what I mean? God and nature first made us who we are. Then out of our own creative genius, we make ourselves who we want to be. Mm -hmm. We follow that great law, put God and the skies as our limit and eternity our measurement. Mm -hmm. So when I come on this big podcast here, eternity is gonna be your lot's measurement. That's but right. when you lot's dead and gone, there's gonna be other youths then kind of doing this kind of thing because no one ain't doing the podcast like how you lot's doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you're covering all areas. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My thing, I'm 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 staying in my lane, bro. Yeah. No one can't test me talking <laughs> about boxing. And no, yeah. no no one ain't got more hype or, or more juice mm -hmm. than Tundi. So let's stay in our lane. I stay in my yeah. lane. But yeah. you lot's covering everything. You know what I mean? I watch your lot of stuff. I watch your lot of stuff. I see no, the Richard man. Blackwood, see the Harvey, see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I watch your lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I see a couple of rappers, but I'm I'm old man now. I'm 47. I ain't got time <laughs> to keep up with these little young kids. You yeah. know what I mean? They come and piss straight, right? So but yeah, when I see when I see that, I'm saying, yeah, man, you, you know I mean, each one teach one, and and yeah. the support is reciprocated. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. now I'm now I'm gonna, I ain't lying. Like, I get numbers though. I ain't boasting yeah. like, right? But I get, <laughs> I get I get I'm just telling you now, right? I, I do. I get numbers, so I know when this is out now, and this goes out, then people say, rah. Well, I spend certain people may not even know me because you just give me a new, you just give me yeah. a new thingy. Certain people, say, you know what I mean, it's, it's, if you're it's in a boxing environment, yeah, yeah, you know me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say to you. So yeah. yeah, so that's my, that's my, like I said, that's my gratitude. Like man, so yeah, come and I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, man, I'm happy to have it, you here, bro. On that note, we're gonna wrap up. It's been a great one. It's been an honor to have you here, yeah, Spence, man, and to on, celebrate bro. you. And like I always say, it's a timestamp. So when look, when time passes and people look back, they'll see this moment. And I was here with my brothers and my people, them, and Spence celebrating Spence Safir on, you know, an honorable good man. He's always mm -hmm. kept it 100 with me, always consistently kept it 100. And it's a man that I turn to, one of my people, them, that I respect. 
and I'm celebrating him here on my platform. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Bro. But it's not just because Pan's getting big, man. Yeah, yeah man. I've like, been big. Out, I've been big. No, no, I've been big. big. No, 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 no Pan's Pan getting, Pan getting bigger now. And, like, he's pushing them weights because he's hanging out with Dougie because, like, Dougie's in his old, big old gorilla chest. I was like, I was like, I like, guys, we're just talking. 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 We